Stop calling my actors. I will not work for you to destroy. Nollywood actress and producer Ruth Kadi sent serious warning to Omoni Oboli as they fight dirty on Instagram. Hi guys, welcome back to Ninja G's Direct. Please, if you are seeing my video for the first time, kindly hit on the red subscribe button and hit on the bell icon for notifications. Now guys, let's get down into the gist of today. Ruth Kadiri, Nollywood big producer, screenwriter and actress who is dedicated and committed to her movie production. She's literally one of the best movie producers we have in Nollywood industry on YouTube and she's a role model to upcoming movie producers as well as actors. Her craft and her hard work is really, really appreciated by many. She has groomed a lot of new actors who are literally Literally doing so well in the entertainment industry. Ruth Kadiri started up as a screenwriter and then actress before diverting into movie production. She started up her YouTube channel Ruth Kadiri 247 two years ago and now she has gained over a million subscribers on YouTube. She's also the CEO of French TV 247 and First Team TV. Indeed, Ruth Kadiri is one of the biggest and the richest movie producers we have in Nollywood industry on YouTube. Now, going down to Omoni Oboli. Omoni Oboli is a famous Nigerian actress, scriptwriter, and a producer. Omoni Oboli is now a fast rising YouTube Nollywood producer who started up her movie production last year, December 2023, on YouTube. Her growth so far has been really, really mind blowing, and she grew from nothing to over 200,000 subscribers and counting just in a space of three months. Indeed, she's really, really hardworking. Ruth Kadiri and Omoni Oboli are really, really deserving of their flowers as they are among the best and hardworking producers we have in Nollywood industry. So it's not shocking to see that there is a big competition going on between these two and it's really really causing a very very big problem right now in the industry. Now let's get into their beef and their fight. The fight between Ruth Kadiri and Omoni Oboli started few months ago which made Ruth Kadiri cut all ties with one of her new actors she brought to the limelight Eronini Osinachi. Guys, Ruth Kadiri Kadiri has groomed and brought in new actors into the spotlight. Actors like Chididi K, Eroninio Sinachi, Stephanie Abassi, Genevieve Edwin, Frances, and so many, many others. She groomed those people. She brought them into the limelight. She literally took them as family, like her children. She loved them a whole lot, and they were literally admired by lots of people. The way she really talked about them, you know, she promote them on their social media, she promote their platform, and give them followers and fans. Not until recently we saw that she had cut all ties with one of the actors she groomed, Eronini Osinachi. Like he was literally dumped like someone who didn't exist in the family at all. She blocked him everywhere even on WhatsApp. You already know everything that happened. It was after Eronini Osinachi was featured in a movie of Omoni Oboli, the one who stole my heart. That particular movie that Eronini acted with Angel Unigwe, which attracted a lot of reactions from people because of their intense love scene in the movie which Ruth Kadiri wasn't pleased with as well and she had blocked Eronini on her platform after warning him not to film the part 2 of the movie but the warning fell into deaf ears. Some weeks has passed, some days has passed until yesterday a post was made by Ruth Kadiri on Instagram throwing shade at Omonio Boli, accusing her of buying fake views, warning her to stay off her artist and to build her own team giving strict warnings and telling us about things that have been eating her up these past few months. According to Ruth Kadiri, she said, If you know you are one of those buying views on YouTube, stop calling my artist. I will not work for you to destroy. Once they appear on your channel, their arrow PMs became messed up. I will not warn you again. If you cannot grow organically, groom your own cast. Thanks. Now, for those of you who do not understand what ROPMs mean, it's basically the amount YouTube pays for 1,000 ad views after taking out their percentage from the total CPM. Seriously, I have noticed that actors like Chididik, Eronini, they have very, very poor ROPM. This means that their movies do not generate large money, even with many views. You see actors like Maurice Sam, Sonia Uche, Frederick Leonard, Chineye Nebe, even Olo Ebube Obio, 
Roots Cadere herself, they have a very, very high CPM and ROPM. Now, based on Roots Cadere's post, I think she's assuming now that what's affecting her channel ROPM is because Eronini shot a movie for Omoni Oboli. And according to this post, Omoni Oboli is buying YouTube views. So that's what is affecting her views. Don't even ask me if Roots Cadere mention anyone's name. It's no longer news that Roots Cadere and Omoni Oboli are having a rift. And this is the first time Roots Cadere is having a problem with a producer. As big as Uche Nambinabo is, Roots Cadere has never had any issues with him because he doesn't poach his, her actors or try to copy her steps. For those of you saying, what is wrong with Roots Cadere's actors working with Omoni Oboli, asking if they, are, if they are not allowed to work with others? Well, this is a very, very easy something. If what Omoni Oboli is doing to Roots Cadere right now is being done to you, you won't be happy about it. Bringing an actor to limelight is not something that is very easy. You have to spend your time, you have to spend your money. In the selection process, you spend a lot of time, even months, to train them before finally staring them. It's not an easy something, you still have to promote them. So it's not really an easy something as you see it from the outside. If it was that easy, Omoni Oboli will go out and search for her own actors. You see someone like Clayton Joshua, who has been been trained by Uche Nambanabo. She he hasn't stayed in any movie for another producer since he came out, since he came into the limelight through Uche Na. He has not appeared in any other person's movie because Uche Na was the one who trained him as an actor. I cannot believe he has a contract with Uchena. And I think Ruth Kadiri should adopt the method of making them sign a contract with her. Then they'll, they'll work for her for some period before they are allowed to go and work with other producers. And for those asking, why is Ruth Kadiri not mad at Eddie Watson for working with Omoni Oboli? Well, Eddie Watson is an already established actor. Ruth Kadiri did not bring him to limelight. This is more like hunting from fresh acts. And before you even finish grooming them, someone from nowhere will come and uproot them. So there is a big difference. Anyway guys, Omoni Oboli replied on her own story too by taking the matter to God. According to Omoni Oboli, she wrote, Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Lift yourself up because of the rage of my enemies. Rise up for me to the judgment you have commanded. So the congregation of the people shall surround you. For their sake, therefore, return on I. The Lord shall judge the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity within me hmm this old drama is so funny but let's take a look at some comments and opinion from some fans on instagram regarding this issue when they said not be small arise oh lord in your anger make one they involve god for a frivolous fight i beg crazy god said the most painful thing that can happen to a successful YouTuber is for your ROPM to drop. It is so painful, especially after putting in so much work. Those same so because she brought them to limelight, they shouldn't work with other producers. You would understand until you start a YouTube channel or you know someone who is going through it on YouTube. Madam, arise, oh Lord, go to the grassroots and groom your own actors. So say I said, Ini was always right about Omoni, from psychophancy to poaching. At least be creative in counting, developing, training talent, not coming to reap from someone else's harvest. Uche now Benabo is my faith, followed by Ruth Kadiri's TV. Another person said, and all of you saying Ruth should stop holding the new actors. Now imagine in your business or company, you brought in an apprentice, train them and show them the ropes and roads so that in return they can be of good to your business or company. And before you can reap your benefits, someone come and cajole them from you. And does that continue how would you feel? No business person would love to lose investment, especially not to a competitor. And Omoni is obviously competing with Ruth, cause we all know Ruth owns Nollywood movies on YouTube by having a lot of audience. So she's also intentionally targeting Ruth's audience, if you ask me. Sams is said, Ruth has been hardworking. Let everyone else find their own cast. I don't support anyhow something. Mara Clotin said, why didn't they go and pick the actors themselves, groom them properly to their own? taste always eating from people's hard work ruth is on her lane and she doesn't beef people honestly i stand with ruth biko vicky said i will just say this i don't think ruth kadiri has a feud with omoni oboli because she used an actor which she groomed i think it's because omoni oboli taking this boy to act in a movie that can ruin his reputation will equally indirectly sabotage ruth's effort in bringing this boy to the limelight personally that film where eronini stayed with angel disgusted 
trusted me. They were just kissing anyhow. That girl just turned 18. And we are in Africa for crying out loud. No one saw Regina kissing in her early years, even when she was 18. Mm, this matter really hurts. Guys, this is the end of this video. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. Do you think Ruth Kadir is right for putting out her grievances on social media? We already know that she's not happy with what Omoni Oboli is doing by poaching her actors. Also, let me know. Do you think that she's overreacting? Do you think that Omoni Oboli is doing something right? Let me know your opinion in the comment section because your opinion is also important.